What's going on everybody? Thank you for checking out the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up two-factor authentication for your Call of Duty account so you can use it to gift a battle pass in Warzone and in Black Ops Cold War. So I've had a lot of people checking out the channel over the recent battle pass videos and how to actually give the battle pass. So thank you guys for stopping by. But I've got a lot of questions that have come in that people are struggling to set up two-factor authentication. So I wanted to put together this video real quick and show you how to do it. So it's really straightforward, guys. All you have to do is go into callofduty.com and log into your account. The login functionality will be in the top right portion. Go ahead and log in with your credentials. Next, you'll be brought to your account page. Obviously, I'm hiding you know, my personal information here, but you go to privacy and security on the fourth little parametric nav here on the left, and there will be a two-factor authentication screen like this. If you're doing it from the Call of Duty mobile app, you'll actually go into the Battle Pass tab within the companion app, and you can enable two-factor authentication. Now, whether you're doing this in the app and you're brought to this screen, or you're doing it on callofduty.com, once you click on the two-factor authentication section, it will open up a screen that looks similar like this. Now I can't see it because I've already authenticated my account, but what you're gonna get is a screen that pops up exactly like this. And what you want to do is first download the Google Authenticator app off of the Google Play Store or iOS Store. Um, you can do that by, by scanning the QR code on the screen with the camera on your phone, um, or you can manually download it online. Um, and what you want to do is once you have the Authenticator app downloaded, then take it, it's kind of easiest just to do with your phone, take it and scan the QR code that's on your screen and what that will do is allow you to, uh, it'll generate a, a six digit pass code, password that pops up on that screen. You wanna take those six numbers and plug them in to the code right here. And then you wanna enter in your password. That was for your Call of Duty account. So enter in your Call of Duty password and enter in the six digit code from the Authenticator app and that will uh, enable the two-factor authentication. Now, if you run into problems and it tells you that there's a password mismatch between between the code and uh, your password itself, the same thing happened to me. You need to go on to callofduty.com or via the app online or on your phone and reset your account password. So go back into your account, uh, probably I think it's under basic info and reset your password to something else, something secure, don't make it crazy so you get hacked, but reset that password and then come back to the screen, open up the, authentic the Google Authenticator app, enter in that six digit code, enter in that new password that you newly created and it will activate for you. This sounds super complex, but I swear to you it's not. It's just a couple of steps. As a recap, go into callofduty.com, go into your actual profile. So log in, go to your profile. When you are in your profile, in your account, go to privacy and security. There's a Google Authenticator section. Click on that. That will open up to this page and then download the Google Authenticator app. Uh, scan the QR code. You can do that with your phone uh, in the camera app. And then that will generate within the Authenticator app. It'll give you a six digit code. Enter in that code, enter in your password, and you're good to go. And by the way, once you have all the authenticators set up, if you actually want to click on the video in the link below or here on the top right of the screen, I'll show you how to activate the battle pass within Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War or Warzone. So that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have any kind of issues uh, or if you need help, go ahead and comment below and I'll try to help or members of the community will jump in as well. If you happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, comment below if you have any kind of issues. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I love to have you on board and then you can get notifications when I upload new videos just like this one. So hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.